Hi, my name is Elia. I go by they and them. Um, I'm a visual artist based in Berlin. Um, I decided to move from Paris to Berlin. Honestly, I always knew that I would move. Like I, I didn't, I didn't want to stay in, in France for different reasons. I think personal reasons, but also like I was kind of tired of, um, you know, the French equality thing that was that I didn't see realized in my life and around me. So I knew that I wanted to leave. Um, and Berlin was like Jesus' choice, to be honest. I was just trying to find jobs outside of my country. And I saw this job offer to be a business analyst um, in Berlin. So I just applied and I got it. So I just left. I was tired of the anti-Muslim you know, policies and behaviors around me. I was tired of the racism and also this very hypocrite idea that uh, France is like the land of égalité, liberté, fraternité um, and meritocracy. You know, I was really tired of that. And I was tired of French people in general. I was just tired of I think like geography has a huge impact on people too and when you go to Paris you see how small the streets are and everything is small and every time I go back, I don't go back to Paris anymore at all and I don't think I will go back to France because I'm not talking to my family so much but I, I was just like I just felt it was too small for me. It was just too small and I'm big and I'm loud and I just talk whatever I want to say. I just say whatever I want to say. And I felt like everything was too small for me. Like literally and figuratively, it was just too small. So I just decided I want to see um, something bigger. And I always knew since I'm 12 that I would leave. How is it to grow up? Uh, queer in France, in the black community particularly. Um, I think I'm always coming out to myself, like it's it's never a process that is like ending to be honest because it's just it's just like decolonizing yourself of your own anti-blackness, it's the same. I, I wasn't um, I wasn't openly queer in France. I was growing up in the suburbs of Paris, which is very different than Paris and surrounded by black people and um, different people of color basically there was a really few white people and uh, poor background so in those communities unfortunately there's a lot of there's a lot of um, queerphobia and homophobia transphobia everything so i didn't even have the space in my mind of thinking like oh maybe i could go there and i could it could be my like it could be i could be uh, okay with that and I think I moved from Paris actually but still in France and it was something that I couldn't deny too much anymore um, and here I mean it's very easier to I mean I don't want to say easier it's not but it's just that you know uh, being queer in a land that is not yours is always going to be easier in a way because you, there's not your family around um, there's not people who know your mother who could tell you oh I saw her just before with this person and they were kissing or you know there's so I d you don't feel the pressure of the expectations of your own country your own family your own um, communities so for me it was uh, I'm always coming out to myself like there's not one day that I uh, it's always a process of like trying to um, decolonize myself from heteronormativity concept and cis concept and you know transphobic concept that we all have so I don't think it's gonna end I think it's gonna be a process until I die but it's fun so and it's also very humbling so um, and also learning the history of the queer um, movement is something that you have to kind of include in your own coming to yourself so 
how did I come out? Um, I didn't, I think. Like, I, I didn't. I, I think I just... I don't know. I think it's also, yeah, very, kind of very privileged to be like, yeah, I'm coming out. Like, this whole um, concept of, I think, which is very cis washed or I don't know maybe what what I don't know but to like sit your parents down and uh, tell well mama I have something to tell you it, it, it I'm not doing that I'm not doing that <laughs> I'm 28 so obviously I feel like who I fuck is who I fuck it's very privileged also to say that and I know that but like I said like I have this privilege to not live in a country where my parents are my father isn't even the same continent and I don't have like I don't talk to him like so I don't owe him anything he doesn't he made it clear that he doesn't owe me anything either uh, and my mother I don't talk to anymore because of white privilege and um, her whiteness I feel like people who I meet who are not my family members kind of understand very quickly that I'm queer because I don't hide it either but I don't put it on my t-shirts every Monday you know I don't try to uh, I mean if you see my Instagram obviously it's in my Instagram bio or like all of the things that I do are about not all of everything but it's always something that is part of what I try to do as an artist so you're gonna know but if you meet me outside which is gonna be rare because I never go out of my house um, I think at some point you're gonna know I don't know